Alright guys, BB Guns and more here today and um my knuckle just hit the fan. I'm gonna show you how to make a speed loader for your hang on. Steel BB gun magazine. These magazines right here. That's got the hole right there. And make sure it's one of the ones that's already been fired. Of course, it's got to be the one that's going to be fired. And there's already BBs in this one. But I'm going to get another one. Because I collect, like, shotgun shells, 9 and just casings. I got two 22 shorts, well, two 22 longs, one 22 short. Got some weird looking around there. And I got a bunch of... 410 shotgun shells and I got a bunch of 12 gauge shotgun shells and I got a 50 AE 50 caliper that come off a machine that come off of a military uh, truck so you see this is an empty shell 12 gauge Winchester alright so let me get the BBs out of my pocket alright so see the little hole here you're gonna want to put the shotgun shell up to that and just pour the BBs in. Oh, of course, little plastic piece. All right, so fill it up to about to about right there just before that and then what you want to do is you want to go like that and make sure there's a little hole for the BBs to squeeze out of let me uh, do this and you see the little hole there you're gonna put this uh, little lip right there just before the hole and you're gonna pour the BBs in alright maybe do a hole like that okay and put it just before the hole. And then you got a perfect double stack. I call these magazines double stack because they do like stagger them a little bit. See that? But that's how you make a speed loader out of a shotgun shell. Uh, but when you're carrying them in your pocket, I suggest like get a little wad of paper and stick it in there just to make sure the BBs don't fall out so I would uh, do that I used to do this a long time a, a while back I don't know why I've been haven't been uh, loading up shotgun shells and taking them out uh, when I go around the yard looking for birds and stuff and squirrels so that's a magazine there <laughs> now I don't know I have to go outside and shoot this because I don't want to waste the BBs so I don't want to like put it in and take it out and because every time you put it in the uh, XCP and then take it out the BB falls out see and the leaves are starting to fall so winter is starting to come and the fall is coming actually and the leaves are starting to fall starting to get yellow yellow <laughs> but um, I had to put the cap back on the black diamond BBs. Uh, that's the way. I don't know if it works with the uh, the uh, 410. Let's try to get a 410 and do it. Should I do the long, long one or the short one? I think I yeah I got shorts and longs. Let's see that long one. Oh, what the heck, we'll do a short. Oh, let me show you guys this, uh, 50. 50 caliber. Oh, there's a 410 right there. It may be better with the long 410s, but... Oh, there it goes. There's a 50 AE. Compared to a shotgun shell.
You know, I wonder if when this was on the military truck, I wonder if it was like a just a regular full metal jacket or a black tip or I don't know. The end of this shotgun shell is kind of banged up and it's kind of the four tens are kind of stiff. Like, and they might be a little bit harder to get the BBs into. But the four tens, you should be able to put some in the four ten. I also got a 9mm in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is right there. Right there. Um, then I got a marble in there. Um, I am selling my BB gun, my uh, rifle. I'm attempting to. I'm trying to see if y'all can see through it. Yeah, I think I can see through that. And the scope is coming with it, so... I gotta clean my glasses. Alright guys, that was it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and um... Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys uh, took a little uh, tip from me today by uh, steel pennies. I didn't know I, I forgot I had them. 1943. Um, reason they started making uh, these pennies, and these are also wheat pennies. That's when the, in the era they started doing wheat pennies, I guess. Is in 40, 43. Yeah, 43. 43 because of World War II. It, only year they made the steel penny uh, was because of World War II. They needed like a bunch of copper, I guess, for the uh, bullets or something. That's the only thing I could think of of them needing so much copper. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed and. Uh, please like, subscribe, and peace out.